popular business in Shimokin is closing its doors again. The Duncan is closed this time for a remodel. Newswatch 16 Shaq Culkin joins us to explain why the neighbors hope that those upgrades will come with some big changes. Lisa and Scott, this isn't the first time the people of Shimokin are without a Duncan. Back in 2016, the coffee shop was forced to close after an arson. The story went viral after Shimokin residents chatted with WNEP about the closure. I'm going to miss that place when it, if it don't open up. And a lot of my friends go in there, get the cold coffee, well, iced coffee, I guess it's called. I go there every day. I get a chicken baker croissant or I get some coffee, Powerade if I'm dehydrated. I sit there all the time. If I have any like legal work that I need to do, I go there. I meet with my attorneys there. Cheap, classy place to meet up. It's a location where you can meet up with your friends. It's the only thing this town has. Now Duncan in Chimokin is closed once again. This time it's for a remodel. Residents we spoke with are hoping the changes will help with traffic congestion caused by customers waiting for their morning coffee and donuts. Duncan's in town. It's easy to get to. You don't got to go all the way out of town just to go to Duncan. For Shimokin resident Ashley Stout, it's a welcome calmness at the intersection of West Sunbury Street and North Market as renovations on the city's Duncan get underway. And I don't think that's where Duncan should be. I think they should move to different destination. Jack hammers could be heard throughout downtown Monday evening as foreman Robert Etter and his construction crew began the demolition. Well, this pink line right here means I got to put a footer in. I bump the footer out, and this uh, we're gonna bring this out forward, and this will be their new drive-through. From a complete tear down to the last bit of paint, Etter says the business is getting a complete remodel. We gotta set some steel move a drive-through window, uh, replace all the tile, give them new finishes. Over the past few years, residents say the biggest issue with the Duncan is the traffic caused by the drive-through. But now with a new look coming soon, they hope that problem is solved. It's, it's everything. It's like the gravitational spot where everybody has to come to. You know, early in the morning, it's crazy. Traffic is crazy. Israel Cruz lives a few doors down from the popular coffee shop. He hopes the redesign helps out the owners and the community as well. We do this here in a, such a way like uh, when I was in New York, the entrance would be on the side of the Dunkin' Donuts instead of being like this. That's already traffic, but there could be some accidents here. Construction crews say they hope to wrap up the project in five to six weeks. That means Duncan would be welcoming customers once again sometime in early April. Jack Colkin, Newswatch 16. Scott and Lisa, back to you.